All right, let's start. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Easy Fun Coding Seminar Series. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, it's great to see so many of you. 大家晚上好，欢迎参加我们 Easy Fun Coding 的讲座系列。谢谢大家加入我们。Yeah, it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce our speakers for the seminar tonight. Uh, two excellent students uh, who have been recently admitted by Stanford University. We have Hannah, who is from uh, Hamilton Southeastern High School. And、uh, yeah, in Fishers, and、uh, Alan, who is a senior of、uh, Camo High School. We are very happy to invite two students, very talented students, who have been admitted to Stanford in the morning. One is Hannah, who is from Fishers Hamilton Southeastern High School, and Alan, who is from Camo High School, both are Indiana State students. Uh, Hannah and、uh, Alan,、uh, they will share their personal、uh, experience with the college application process and offer us insights, yeah, into what it takes to stand out in this、uh, competitive, highly competitive setting.、Uh, they will talk、uh, about the challenges, challenges they faced, the、uh, strategies they、uh, employed, and、uh, the lessons they learned along the way. So,、uh, Hannah 和 Anna 同学，呃、uh, ，Anna 同学他们会今天晚上跟大家分享一下这个在大学申请中的一些呃、uh, 经验。呃，如何在这个激烈的大学申请中让自己能够脱颖而出？那么呢，会跟大家分享一下他们自己遇到过的挑战和怎么样啊、呃、采取的策略来克服这些困难，然后呢，和他们一路走过来学到的一些经验教训。So following their、uh, presentations, we are going to open the floor for question and answer、uh, session, where you will have the opportunity to ask Hannah and Alan questions. Uh, and get further insights、uh, into their experience. They 讲他们讲座完结束以后呢，我们会开放问问题的时间。大家呢就可以呀，畅所欲言，可以问问题，可以替自己的孩子问问题，看看他们有没有什么建议。Uh, so without further ado,、uh, let's give a warm welcome to Hannah and Alan. Okay. Uh, so Hannah and Alan, you can start now. Yeah, and thank you for the introduction, Doctor Shen. Yes, thank you. Welcome. Okay. All right, so here's、um, how to get into Stanford 101. This is obviously a joke title, but this is just our experience with the entire college admissions journey and some things we learned along the way.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Hannah, and ah、uh, yeah, and I'm Alan. So I guess I can start with the introduction. So,、um, like Dr. Shaw said, I'm a senior at Como High School.、Um, I so some of my hobbies I like trying new foods.、Um, I like teaching coding. Um, I've been a tutor for Easy Fun Coding for I think the last three years, and it's been a great experience. And I like working out.、Um, and then my major for now is probably going to be computer science, but that could always change.、Um, I'm Hannah.、Um, I'm a senior at Hamilton Southeastern High School, and some of my hobbies include art, guitar, and writing. And for now, my major is also going to be computer science. So our first section here is about course selection, and a lot of people put some huge emphasis on like you know AP classes, your GPA, like what GPA do you need to get to Stanford. But it's really like very much dependent on your school. Although obviously having a high GPA is very important.、Um, I was personally at the time of application、um, first in my class,、um, and my GPA was around four point nine. But every school does that different, and the admissions officers know based on your school like how hard it is to get a certain GPA. So.、Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it about GPA.、Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and share my experience too. So,、um, I definitely agree with a lot of what Hannah said. Like, I wouldn't worry too much about the GPA because it it varies a lot from school to school.、Um, and I know that I think I heard a lot of the colleges re、uh, calculate based on their own scale because they know that、um, a lot of the schools vary in the difficulty and the weighting of the classes.、Um, I don't know my class rank, but I think I was like top three percent for my school. But my school doesn't do the exact ranking. Um, and I know that Stanford calculates GPA、um, a little bit differently. I think they don't include your freshman year, and then they also、um, they will count like an A minus as a four point zero. So it just there's a lot of discrepancies that、um, can change between the school GPA and the way that they calculate it. And AP classes, this really again just hugely depends on your school. Like for example, large public schools like my school or Carmel. Will like have very many options for APs that you can take, and you're going to want to like take a lot of them to be you know competitive amongst your、um, classmates. And your AP exam scores, from my observations and personal experience, I don't think they really matter that much.、Um, I don't know if Alan had a different experience with that. Yeah, I mean,、um, again, I think yeah, a lot of this definitely.、Um, I would agree with Hannah. I think the 
you should definitely try to take as many APs as you can, but I know that um, the availability uh, definitely differs from school to school and also some schools don't let you to take certain classes based on your grade level. Um, but I definitely, I would agree, just try to take the most challenging classes you can, of course, if they're still interesting to you, and then don't worry too much about the AP exam scores.